Let me tell you all, a real-life incident which has a great great impact in my life which changed my approach towards life completely. I had a friend named Chris in his mid-thirties, who had a great life. I used to envy his lifestyle very much as he had the best education completed from a reputed university. He married his long-term girlfriend and was having a great job, a great car, had a great dog and lovely children. The family had vacations on regular basis and always posted their lovely pictures on the social media which made me more envious as he had everything perfect in his life. I thought what could go wrong in his life and suddenly one day received a sad news that he passed away due to a massive stroke and the family was shattered. I lost my self-respect as I used to be jealous of his lifestyle all my life not knowing what fate had stored for him. Oh God why did you do this to him? In this chapter we discuss the pros and cons as why young people pass away early in their life due to heart attacks. Please like, comment and share the video to your loved ones. Also subscribe to the channel to watch more health awareness videos. Please respect and love your near ones. As once they have gone, they will be lost. And you will never find them back. Any age can experience a heart attack, but as you become older, your risk increases. But according to scientific data, over the past few decades there has been an increase in the occurrence of heart attacks among younger people. Myocardial infarction, another name for a heart attack, occurs when the heart's blood supply is completely or partially interrupted. The heart can't pump effectively when it lacks the blood and oxygen it requires. The more time the heart spend without enough blood and oxygen the more harm the heart muscle sustains. Early care is essential for heart attacks, which are medical emergencies. Call your local emergency services as soon as you suspect someone you know is experiencing heart attack symptoms. However, your risk of heart attack might not be related to your gender identity. Your doctor can explain to you how your unique situation will affect the risk factors and symptoms of a heart attack. Does being older make you more likely to have a heart attack? Your risk of having a heart attack rises as you age. This is a result of physical changes to your circulatory system, and your heart in particular. Your heart might alter in a number of ways as you get older. Your artery walls may accumulate fatty deposits over time. The coronary arteries which feed your heart muscle with blood and oxygen may narrow as a result. Atherosclerosis is the term for this where arteries may become stiffen and harder as you age. If you have fatty deposits in your arteries, having stiffer, less flexible arteries can raise your chance of having a heart attack. Your heart's defenses could develop stronger as you age, the volume of your heart's internal chambers may shrink even though your heart grows slightly overall as a result. This can make it difficult to relax since your heart can't pump as much blood or become stiffer. Four valves in your heart open and close to maintain blood flow in the proper direction which might operate less efficiently. These valves may thicken, stiffen, or leak over time and your heart must work harder to regulate the blood flow. As you become older, your heart's electrical impulses could also change and alter. An arrhythmia may develop as a result. A heartbeat that is too fast, too slow, or irregular is known as an arrhythmia. Sodium sensitivity could become more acute due to aging and some people become more sensitive to sodium and salt. Your chance of having a heart attack may increase as a result of this. The average age of a first heart attack is 65.6 years old for males and 72 years old for women, according to a 2018 analysis from Trusted Source. Heart attacks in younger persons are possible and increasing?
young individuals are having more heart attacks due to changing sedentary lifestyles. Smoking and substance misuse is more prevalent among young people and is associated with higher risk of heart attack. Numerous other risk elements are probably involved in premature heart attacks that are more prevalent in younger people, like obesity, prediabetes, dyslipidemia, or abnormally high amounts of lipids or fats in the blood, including triglycerides and LDL cholesterol. Type 2 diabetes is directly related to cardiac arrests. Additionally, experts believe that early introduction of preventative medical care and lifestyle adjustments is lacking. Certain lifestyle choices, such as smoking, eating poorly, and getting little exercise, can have long-term implications on cardiovascular health. To reduce the risk of having a heart attack in later life, researchers contend that healthy lifestyle choices should be made during youth or early adulthood. Do not over-exercise yourself if you have a history of heart-related illness. Consult the gym trainer or specialist in-house. In some cases, a young person's family history may be a significant risk factor for heart attacks. What signs indicate a heart attack? Although the signs and symptoms of a heart attack can differ greatly from person to person, some of the most typical ones are as follows. Shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, chest pain, pain in the arm, neck, shoulder, or jaw, sweating, feeling faint or dizzy, exhaustion, nausea, and upper back pain. Unmask yourself at home and uncrowded places if you are using a mask on regular basis. Women are more likely than men to experience chest pain that feels like tightness or pressure in the chest, even though males often experience chest pain that is more severe. However, not all women who experience a heart attack experience chest pain. Men's symptoms often manifest more suddenly than those of women, which is another characteristic that tends to differ between the sexes. For women, unusual or excessive weariness is frequently one of the earliest warning symptoms, and it can begin days before a heart attack actually occurs. There are numerous other risk factors than aging that can raise your risk of having a heart attack. Even if some of these risk factors cannot be controlled, being aware of them is still beneficial. The main risk factors for a heart attack that can't be modified are your age as it increases in heart attack risks. Being a man as compared to premenopausal women, men are more likely to experience a heart attack. However, postmenopausal women and men both have the same chance of having a heart attack. Men typically experience heart attacks at younger age but the risk is higher for women on having a heart attack. A young person's family history may be a significant risk factor for heart attacks if one of your parents suffered from the condition. Despite the fact that other risk factors cannot be controlled many risk variables are under your control which are smoking, lack of exercise, being overweight or obese, having high blood pressure, having high cholesterol, having high blood sugar, having high stress levels, eating poorly, drinking excessively, and having sleep apnea are all risk factors. You can take a variety of actions to reduce your chance of having a heart attack and strength the health of your heart. The more significant the influence on your heart health, the earlier in life you may implement these adjustments. Stop smoking and keep out of secondhand passive smoke which raises your risk of having a heart attack. Avoid letting smokers into your house or automobile, if at all feasible. Consult your doctor to lower your cholesterol particularly raised LDL cholesterol which is a major risk factor for a heart attack. Maintain a healthy blood pressure level. You can control your blood pressure by medicines and making lifestyle changes your heart may change as a result of high blood pressure, making it less efficient. A heart attack and heart disease are both significantly increased by chronic or persistent stress. If you frequently feel anxious, look for stress reduction methods that make you feel more at ease. Exercise regularly adults need a minimum of 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week to maintain good health. Try to spend the day sitting less and moving around more. Your waist size is a crucial predictor of your risk of having a heart attack so retain healthy weight. Consider discussing healthy weight loss options with your doctor if you are obese or overweight. Keep a check on your alcohol intake as alcohol consumption that is excessive can raise triglycerides, a form of blood fat, and blood pressure and cause erratic heartbeats. If you do consume do it sparingly. This is regarded as one normal drink per day for women and two standard drinks per day for males. 
Control diabetes if you have diabetes, managing it properly as it is essential to reduce risk of heart attack. Consult your doctor to determine the best course of therapy if you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, or any other illnesses that could raise your chance of having a heart attack. Understanding the disease's causes and risk factors may help you stay heart healthy. Type 2 diabetes and heart disease are related. According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases Trusted Source, persons with type 2 diabetes, particularly those who have reached middle age, have a twofold increased risk of developing heart disease or having a stroke. Adults with diabetes frequently experience heart attacks while they are younger. Keeping your blood sugar under control can also help reduce your risk of developing circulation and eye problems. Heart disease and depression. Numerous physiological changes brought on by depression can raise your risk of heart disease and heart attacks. Your blood pressure may increase as a result of excessive stress, persistent sadness, or both. In addition, depression may cause a loss of interest in routine activities. This covers activities like exercise that must be done on a daily basis to help prevent heart disease. Following harmful behaviors including skipping prescriptions, not making an attempt to eat a nutritious diet, consuming too much alcohol, and smoking cigarettes are possible. If you think you might have depression, consult your doctor. Visit your doctor for annual physicals to identify anomalies and evaluate risk factors. Take supplements as your doctor has prescribed. Finally, take good care of yourself and be happy. Cheers. Thanks for watching and giving your valuable time. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to keep our motivation going. Cheers.